Have you thought about creating a simulation with multiple types of robots, one following the other? In this lecture, we are going to be producing a simulation with a mobile robot controlled by us and the drone following it using computer vision. It requires three steps. First is obtaining the parrot drone, then setting up the computer vision pipeline, control system for smooth drone's behavior. Otherwise, things will go out of control. Obtaining drone is quite easy. This is the repository SJTU drone by Nova G93. All of the description about this package is provided sensor control ground truth and how to run it and install it. Simply you need to get this package by cloning it into your ROS2 workspace source directory where all of the other packages are. So we will go into workspace, go into the source directory and perform git clone. Now once it is cloned, we need to perform call can build and run this launch file that is explained. We need to copy this command for taking off the drone and we paste this command here. Once the simulation is running, we can see the drone is flying because of sending an empty message into take off topic by the drone. That's all set up by the package. Once this environment is set up in which our drone is looking from the bottom facing camera to the robot, we start this algorithm, getting the image source, converting it to a binary image, which gives us the outline for our robot. Then we calculate contours. Contours provide us exact boundary for our robot. From the contours, we calculate moments. Now moments tell us about the robot position using the contours information. And that middle point on the robot is going to be utilized for drone motion. Here I move the robot and the error in X and Y changes. What is happening for the control system? We require a set point. In our scenario, this blue dot on the screen is the middle point on the drone's camera frame and red dot is on the robot. We compare these two points and calculate the angle as well as the distance for these two points. So when the blue point is behind the robot, the error in Y is negative and we feed that error into the equation that makes a drone take action in the linear motion to move forward. And to smooth it, we utilize proportional gains from control systems. Now let's see a robot in action. We are going to be driving a robot and we can see the drone is moving, trying to center the robot in its down facing camera. And as we move our robot slowly, the drone tries to follow it. And even if the robot gets out of the drone's frame, it still captures it as long as the robot is in the front of the drone. This project is one of its kind where multiple robots can be brought into simulation. You can create a lot of projects out of it. Interesting thing is Ross providing us the opportunity to without buying the drone or the mobile robot, you can test your computer vision algorithm. Obviously, the real world and the simulation will have a lot of differences because of the camera properties. But still, you can build your pipeline of computer vision and tweak it a little bit when you get to the real one.